welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swoosh, and I'm reviewing the 2022 Gap Options Tracking for the week of January 3rd, first week of 2022. It was a good, solid start to the year. It has been a good start to the year. We've had some nice moves in stocks in the market just in the first two weeks of the year. So this was the first week, January 3rd, after the holiday, 75% win ratio and a 208% return on investment. So when you start out the year, you, you typically do have a light week. So this was a light week. Now, this week was a little bit busier, and next week will be even more busier. Why? Because earnings season begins this Friday. Typically, what I do is gaps. Everything is based on gaps, and we have the busiest time of the year during earnings season. Why? Because many stocks that uh, have earnings gap, okay? So let's go over what happened this first week. If you have any questions, you can always email me. You can always watch me on Fox Business, Fox News, and many other television networks. You can call me with questions at 929-3200-GAP. You can email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. You can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or Skype as well. So everything I do is based on my Golden Gap rating system. That is how I make the picks. The important thing about trading is that you have to be very focused on a strategy that has a consistently high win ratio. So again, 75% is a good win ratio. When you're trading, you're not going to have 100%. Some trades lose, and that's why you have to pick a risk that you can stick with and not deviate from, and all of your trades should be around the same risk. So this lecture is about an advanced trader risk. I will do a separate uh, video on a beginner trader risk. The idea of having more winners than losers are is that you will still be up if you have a 75% win ratio, even if you use a lower risk. It's the idea of making more money as you increase your risk, but you can't do that until what? Until you can prove to yourself that you can be profitable. Until you prove to yourself that you can have more winners than losers. So we're going to go over the trades from the Gap Options newsletter. We're going to review these again from the first week of this year. So there were four trades, one loser, zero break-evens, rare those break-even, but sometimes, and three winners. So the win ratio was 75%. Advanced trader risk in the total was 30,300, and advanced trader profits was 63,100. Return on investment, 208%, okay? So this is really, uh, just goes to show you how when you get moves and you get momentum and you take the direction right in something, how you can really, really, when you get money behind something, do extremely well. So again, this year has been off to a good start. So let's go over the trades. So I called the QQQ 400 puts on 1229 that expired on January 7th. I typically do the weeklies. Sometimes the trades that I call go right away, out of the gate. Sometimes they take a couple of days to go. So it depends. You've got to watch them. If you cannot watch them after you buy the trade, we're buying calls and we're buying puts, you can put a sell order, a day order, it'll cancel out if it doesn't hit that day. If you can't watch it, um, just in case you, you, don't, you can't watch it and you miss the move. But if you can watch it, I put targets in the letter. So let's go over this, the day that I called it was here. Okay, so I called it right about 4.02. Okay, so I called the 400s. And here's the drop, boom. Again, I trade gaps using my gap rating system. So we're reviewing the trades that were called in the newsletter. The newsletter is a subscription service. They're emailed to you in live time. Okay, so this was sent 12.34 in the afternoon. I send most trades out in the morning in the pre-market, but sometimes during the day, just so you know. But that got that drop. Again, a put is a short. There was the momentum to the downside that happened last week. Cost was $3.90, number of contracts was 20. Risk was 7,800, sold at $18. Profit was 28,200, and the return on investment was 362%. Very nice trade, very nice trade. Again, you could have taken one contract. You could have risked $390 and still made 362% return on investment. Do you understand? So the whole idea or the concept of trading and doing well is take the money that you have small, medium, or large, and actually turn it into profits and grow a small account into a larger account once you're taking winning trades. So just one contract of this, just for example, if you risked $390, would have made you 1,000, uh, around 1,400 bucks, 1,400 dollars and change. So, but if you can risk this much or even more, you see how you can really bang it out here. So beautiful trade, nice trade. Again, the momentum was to the downside and we got it, we captured it. We captured it. 
I did do a call then. This was on the 3rd. Monday the 3rd, I called the Tesla calls. What happened here? This gapped up. Everything I do is based on my gap strategy. Stock close to your gapped up, rallied, went right straight to the target. Called the 1150 calls. The target was 1200. Again, the targets are in the letter. It was 1150s. Called it on Monday. Sent it out in the pre-market in the morning. You take the trade into the open when I'm calling them if you get them in the pre-market. You can only trade options between 930 and 4. Okay. This was pricey though. $39 for one contract, two cost of $8,800, sold at $62, profit $4,600, return on investment 59%. That's a good solid trade. Again, sometimes something will go to the target and it'll be between 50% and 100% return on investment. That's a good solid trade. Not everything's going to go, you know, 300%. Now, if you have the patience to wait for a bigger move, you can. But I think if you're new to the letter, you should be booking profits consistently. One of the interesting things here is, though, that sometimes when you get these pricier ones like Tesla, you might want to have a fast exit on them because they're very expensive. Again, there's time value built into the cushion of these. And when you get a move the first day like this, you know, sometimes it's a good idea when it goes to the target to take the profits because nine times out of ten, I will call another trade. But that was a nice move. Then the 480 calls. Now, this was the loser, but to be honest with you, this trade was up. It was up the day that I called it. Um, you could have got out with profit. I thought it was going to continue. It didn't. The market fell. I'll go over that in a minute, but it actually was a profitable trade. If you wanted to get out of all the trades last week, you could have with profit and there would have, you would have had no losers. So some people might have done that. But anyways, this closed here. This gapped up. I called the 480 calls. This was profitable on the day, but then the next day when this started to fell, it fell off and never looked back. It reversed. Okay. So typically, um, oh, let's go over the trade here first. 7.34 in the morning, I sent it. SPY, 480, 172.22. Again, it was a long, it calls along, it was a bullish gap. Cost was pretty good, actually, for the market. 240, 30 contracts for 7,200. Zero was the profit because it just dropped then. So again, if you got out of it the first day, you could have made money. If you held it, it didn't continue. So I don't really use stops and options because the risk is the stop. You can't lose more than your risk. So I don't kill things in the middle of the trade. But once we sold off that second day, then this really just went poop like that. And it was done. But you could have got out the first day if you wanted it to. You could have. It did have a tiny, tiny move on that day on the 4th. Then the other big winner was Netflix. Okay, called it on the 4th, exit the 6th. This was a drop off here. What happened? Again, take it up. Here we are on January 4th, boom, 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 drop. Again, called the 580s. And so I remember even talking about this here because I was like, oh, this is sort of late, but it really wasn't late. And I'm like, I know this is gonna go and this is kind of late, but it really wasn't late at all. But anyways, I knew it was gonna keep going and it did. Here's all of this beautiful drop, beautiful drop. And this is one of the ones, again, with a 580 strike, you see where it was, I broke 540 on the 7th, the very last day you still could have been in this. Not that I think that you should hold trace of the last day. But this is one you could have held to the very, very, very last day and actually still been profitable. You could have done it in the queues too, because those 400 puts fell all the way down and I think broke 380 on the 7 too. Uh, so it was a 580s, called it around 2 o'clock in the afternoon, Tuesday the 4th. Again, it was a put. Okay, momentum was to the downside. Cost was $5. 15 contracts cost what? 7500 Sold at 30, nice trade. In, out, in, out. Get the drop, boom. So again, two, three days removed, that's not crazy. That's normal. Again, these are options. Profit, 37,500 with a risk of 7,500. Again, if you had taken one trade, one contract for $500, your profit would have been 2,500 bucks. It's a nice trade, 500% return on investment. Again, it is about getting the timing right, getting the momentum, getting the direction right. All of this I do in the gap. Okay, so that's the benefit of being in the newsletter. You're going to get these calls. So if you'd like to sign up for 12 month subscription, the annual subscription for the Gap Options newsletter, there are no prerequisites. So this is a newsletter service, not a class. The trades are emailed to you in live time. You can sign up today and start getting the trades tomorrow. All right, again, no prerequisites. This is not a class, it's a subscription service. If you'd like to sign up for the half annual subscription, this is a new product. I'm doing six months for people. You can get started six months. It's $49.99. So it's a better deal if you can sign up for the year. But still, five grand for six months is a lot of time to be on the letter. 
Again, you can see here how even if you have a small account, you can take profitable trades and book the profits and build a small account into a large account. If you are interested in signing up for the newsletter, the six month or 12 month subscription, earnings season begins Friday. It is going to be a very busy time. This week was busier and I did not do a lecture yet on this week's trades, but this was just a light week. So I think it was a good week to go over and show you whether it's a slow week or a busy week, you can make money if you're taking trades where you have more winners than losers. So the whole process and philosophy behind my Golden Gap rating system is I'm rating the gap on the daily chart to determine the directional bias. And so that's not something that you're going to do if you sign up for the subscription. You're just getting the newsletters, all right? But if you want to learn that course and want to learn the information how I make the, kip, the picks, then the class is something that I usually teach once a month. If you'd like to learn about that too, you can email me. If you just want to get the newsletters, you can email me and sign up immediately. Um, it has been a good start to the year, and I'm looking forward to earnings season as well. Email me with questions. Have a good night, everyone.